Cell phones today have become a huge popularity in the United States. Everywhere you go, people are talking on their phones, surfing on the internet, or texting. 50 years ago, hardly anybody had a phone, and nobody paid attention to them. Phones since then have grown and changed over time, and today 91% of adults and 78% of teens have cell phones. How do you think the cell phone has expanded technologically since the first phone? Um, it has gotten more fun and more complex. We had rope and we had uh, touchstone, then we, and for which we needed the landlines. But now these are all cell phones which don't need the cell uh, landlines. In 1897, Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone, called the rotary phone, which introduced a new way of communication. Have you heard of the rotary telephone? Yes. Have you ever used it? Yes. Have you heard of the rotary telephone? No. The first mobile cell phone, called the Brick, was created in 1973. And it was called Brick because of its weight of 2.5 pounds and battery life of 20 minutes. What feature do you like most of newer phones that older ones didn't have? Well, then you can carry this with you wherever you go. It's, uh, you don't have to depend on the one where you have the cable or landline. on so that's the first feature. Well, you could do more on it, um, and it's easier to access. Oh, like you can text on it. And um, you can play games and it has a better retina display. And it has a bigger screen, not like a little flip phone screen. Yeah. In 1995, the Motorola StarTac flip phone was created. And phones suddenly became cheaper and more efficient to use and hold. Um, how has the new phone technology affected the daily lives of people? Well... Now people can get data, everything on their cell phones. And they have advantages, but disadvantages also, that uh, with the cell phones, uh, the people can track you down anywhere. And uh, people use texting and everything, which is not very really good, it's dangerous. So if you use it properly, they are good, if you don't, if you abuse it, then they are bad. So, um, they spend more time on their phone, I guess, than they could be doing other stuff. When the Apple iPhone was created in 2007, it brought touchscreen smartphones into the phone industry that affected the whole world and would continue to for years to come.